The X-Series has a total of eight full-featured keyers on every ME board, which means I don't need to worry about running out of keyers when I'm building complex effects or being stuck with less than a full set of features on every single keyer. So the first thing we have to deal with is, where am I putting my eight keyers on this control panel? The beauty is, is that on a Sony panel, I can configure pretty much anything that I want. So for instance, let's take a look at this setup screen. This is showing me here a diagram of my transition module. So you can see here, here's my next transition area, my transition type, where the normal reverse buttons normally go, and the little three buttons that are underneath the fader arm. I can program these to anything that I want. Now the way that I like to switch is I like to have all eight keyer buttons at my fingertips at any one time. To me, they're more important than the normal and reverse buttons, which I can easily access in the menu. So you can see here that I've got background with key one, two, three, four, and then directly below them in line at the bottom, I have key five, six, seven, and eight. So I can come up here and hit background and say key one and two like I normally do, or I could do something more complex like background, key one, key seven, and eight by holding down these two and then as long as I hold one of the buttons down, I can use my thumb to select key seven and eight. That way I don't have to use two hands at the same time. So now when I do a transition, it'll be background, key one, key seven, and key eight. Now it's important to note, I'm gonna go over here to ME2, that I've assigned ME2 a little differently. Instead of doing it the way that I like it, you can also assign two keyers to each button and be able to select them with a shift. You can also have the settings for main and sub independent of each other. Now moving over here, this allows me to set the eight buttons that are normally set to key on and key auto trans. Now again, if I look at ME2 here, I have key one on with key one auto trans directly above and below it. That's the way the switcher normally works, so I can cut an auto trans. But again, I personally like having all eight keyers set so I can get to them at any time. So on program preset, you can see here that on this button, I've set it to key five auto trans, key six auto trans, key seven, and eight. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and bring any key on at any time. And again, I can have main and sub set independently. You notice here that if I go to sub on program preset, these buttons are no longer key five through eight transition, it's key one through four on. One other place that I can customize how to get eight keyers on my panel is the key module. So you can see over here on the key module that I've got all eight keyers. I just move some of these other buttons around via this menu here. So you can see that any of the buttons on the key panel I can assign to anything. So for instance, if I wanted to, I could take out the show key button and put the chroma key button down here or main mask and put white key pattern down there. But it allows me to move any of the keyers any place that I want. Now, how do we route all these eight keyers? The good news is, is that Sony has now included the option to have the top row be a delegate bus and the bottom row be a single selection bus. For instance, instead of the old way, which had key one, key two, and then a shift, and then a double shift, or something like that for all the other keyers, I can now set over in my menu with between key bus, which is the old way, and key aux delegate, which is the new way. In this way, I've got, I can delegate key one just like an aux bus. Now, whatever I select down here is on key one. When I select key two, this becomes key two, key three, key four, etc. The added bonus is, is in addition to my eight keyers, I can also have a delegate for my two utility buses and all my extended DME buses that have to do with DME combiners so I don't have to hold down the utility button anymore. Now you're not stuck with the way that I have assigned my buttons. By using the key delegate aux assign menu, I can assign whatever those delegate buttons are. For instance, I can make the first one key one, I can make the second one key eight if I wanted to, and the third one aux one. I can even assign aux buses on that to make it easier. And just like the aux buses and all the other labels on the switcher, all I have to do is hit the destination button here and it will verify what I have routed here. And one more key assignment menu we have are gonna cover the independent transitions for each keyer. That's this area right here. So again, I can come over here and assign what I want. The key delegation buttons, that's these four here. The transition type buttons, right here. 
and what normally are the key snapshot setting buttons, which are right here. Now on my switcher, I find that having access to all eight keyers simultaneously is more important than the key snapshot setting buttons. So I've set these four buttons here to be key five, six, seven, and eight. That lets me do things like set key one to a wipe, key two to a mix, key four to a DME wipe, key six to a DME wipe, key seven to a wipe, etc., etc. Now that I've shown you how you can customize the panel to handle eight keyers exactly the way you want, let's take a look at how to use all eight. So let's take a look at ME2 here, and because I have ME2 set to a full ME instead of split apart, I'm going to bring all eight keyers in. So you can see I've got one frame memory, I've used masks and things like that to chop it up. And remember that all eight keyers have a resizer on them. So I can take this one and maybe shrink this one down a little bit, take this one over, do kind of the same thing, etc., etc., etc. Or I can do them all at the same time, shrink them all down a little bit like that. But don't forget, I also have Multiprogram 2. So if we go into our Multiprogram 2 menu for ME2, we can see that I've got all my keys set up on the main side and none on the sub. So you can see over here on the sub, I've got my transition here, and on the main, I've got my transition here. Well, again, I can split these apart any way I want to. It's pretty basic multi-program two stuff. And again, just I've split the keys, but they're still the same keys. I can move them anywhere I want to. Or I can have some of the same keys in, on the same places and two different outputs at the same time. I'm going to recall a couple of snapshots here. So here we have four keys here, none on the other side, as you can see on the menu. Here's another example where I've split the two apart. Another example where, again, I've got key three on both. And again, I'm back to all eight keyers on this one. Now I'm going to call up another effect that goes a little bit more complex. It's going to bring up four keys, and if you watch this carefully, it did that and it rolled a clip on top of a little box. It's a great way to bring in something, maybe have some keys off to the side, and bring in a small little box with perhaps a key on the outside of it. In this case, it's kind of a floral bouquet on top of a resizer. Now because these are just regular keys, they're in the resizer, I can move them. If I want to reposition this somewhere else, I can go ahead and do that. 